guys, so I'm gonna be showing you real quick how I've been moisturizing my hair and what I'm gonna be using in this video to moisturize my hair. Now, I use the LCO method that is liquid, liquid cream oil. And for this video, I will be using Jane Carter's Quench Curl Hydrator. That's what that looks like there. And I purchased this from Amazon.com. It has a spray bottle, spray nozzle here. It is eight ounces, along with Adwa Beauty Bailment Leave-In Conditioner Style Cream. I've been using this leave-in conditioner for a while now. It's on the pricier end, so please beware. So I washed my hair um, two days ago, and it's not extremely dry, but what I try to do is moisturize my hair before it needs to be um, dealt with, basically. So you guys, I'm not styling my hair up in these uh, COVID streets. Um, I'm not. And my hair is growing fairly fast and my ends are like, girl, look, my ends back to, and I'm trying to take care of my ends, y'all, so. Anyway, we're gonna start off by spraying my hair with the quench. This stuff smells so good. Okay, and I really want to, okay. And then we're gonna go in um, one pump of the leave-in. Well, two, <laughs> I lied. And that's creamy. I see my nails, girl. These are press on, y'all. All right. Very creamy. And from root to my ends, bringing that down all the way. And then I have an oil mixture here. This is a like six or seven different oils with the primary or base oil being sweet almond oil. I believe I even have a little bit of my fenugreek oil in there, so. Um, now all I do, girl, I see, look at those ends. I gotta really take care of those ends, y'all. My hair has definitely stopped shedding. Remember, I don't know, y'all remember, but my hair was shedding like crazy. Um, and it's, it's not so much. So see how it looks now? Look at that, girl. Yeah, it feels good. So all we're gonna do is go right ahead and twist that back up, like so. Sometimes I like to add a little bit more leave-in conditioner towards the ends, you know what I mean? Um, and because of the density of my hair, I can be heavy-handed. And I am gonna be heavy-handed, because that's just how I like it. Okay, so we're just gonna twist, twist, twist. Throw it around the ends. And that is it, look at that juicy twist. Yes, honey. So let's get this out the way, okay? Keep going. Yes, you know, this back feels a little dry. Yeah. Porched. <laughs> spray, 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 and I don't care if some get in the back, which is good. Yeah, it's dry, this one's dry. Okay, we're only gonna do one squirt for sure of the leave-in. But sometimes I like to squeeze that in like so. You know what I mean? A little bit of the oil, and a little bit, I do mean a little bit, okay? And again, working that all the way through. I do have a wooden comb here that I can use, I guess, for those ends especially. Now my hair feels good. It feels really good. You can even see it. It's it's feel like it's coming alive, girl. It was dead before. Okay. But baby, sometimes, y'all. And sometimes I could get so lazy to wear. I'll literally take a few drops or just a few uh of this and spray it over my twist, not bothering to take down a twist or anything. Um, and I do all my I put oil on my scalp, and I'm like, yay, my hair is moisturized. Girl, stop. That's a pretty big section. Problem, so I'm squeezing that through, y'all. Taking a little bit of the oil. 
I'm gonna start at the ends first. I also, I like to use applicator jars with a tip because I like to go in here, girl, sorry y'all. I like to go in here, you see here, and try to get around my edges. Y'all, my edges are starting to thin out some. And so I have to remind myself to make sure I'm also moisturizing my edges. And I know y'all said thin, they, they are. They, they, my edges used to come down here. So, I mean, I'm, I'm, in my, I'm in my 40s now, so I'm expecting some, some thinning of the hair. Um, putting some more leave-in towards the end. And then, if y'all hear something, it's Wendy Williams' ass crying. <laughs> it's not funny, but in case y'all like, Whoa, what is going on, girl, in the background? I'm watching her story again. So let's take this side down so you can see, girl. Can y'all see that? Y'all see the difference? Look at, look at her looking parched and thirsty. And over here. Okay, so that is, you could even look at, look at the difference, y'all. Oh my God. And let's take this one down so y'all can really see what it looks like after it has had a minute to soak up. Look at that. Soak up some of that juiciness. Look at that light over here, girl. Look at that. Yeah, so that is what we're going to be doing. Um, and this is how I keep my hair looking healthy and moisturized. And yeah, um, I don't have any problems with this. And y'all have to realize, I also live in an area where there is, it's very dry. I live in the desert. I live in Phoenix, Arizona. Let's get this light off of me. I live in Phoenix, Arizona where it's very, very dry at times. And yeah, I have no problems with keeping my hair moisturized. So that is it, y'all. Just a quick video. And thank y'all so much for watching. Take care. Bye.